Lesson 59. In this lesson, we learn yet another preposition, prope. So now we know a total of three prepositions, and with all three of these prepositions, the object of the preposition needs to be in the accusative case. So let's get some practice with our new word. In exercise one, ambulant is our verb, and that means they walk or they are walking. And we do indeed need the they that's included in ambulant because there's no other word to be the subject. We have a prepositional phrase, prope octam, which means near the seashore. So number one will say, they are walking near the seashore. And number two, est is the verb. That means he, she, or it is. And it's being negated by the word known. The subject of the sentence is casa, which means house. And lastly, we have a prepositional phrase, prope silwam, which means near the forest. So number two will say, the house is not near the forest. In number three, our verb nawagamus means we sail or we are sailing. And we have a prepositional phrase, prope insulas, which means near the islands. Notice how insulas is plural. So number three will say, we are sailing near the islands. In number four, nawigant is the verb, and that means they sail or they are sailing. But we don't need the word they because skafai is the subject. Kirkum insulas means around the islands, and numquam is our adverb. So number four will say, the boats never sail around the islands. In number five, S means you are, and we have a prepositional phrase, prope silwam, which means near the forest. So number five will say, you are near the forest. In number six, our verb is specto, that means I watch or I am watching, and we have the optional word ego. Skafas is the direct object, and notice how it's plural, and simper is our adverb. So number six will say, I always watch the boats. In number seven, sunt is the verb. That means they are. And we have two subjects in this sentence, feminae and puellae. Notice how they're being joined by the word et, which means and. We have a prepositional phrase, prope silwam, which means near the forest. So number seven will say, the women and the girls are near the forest. In number eight, portatus is our verb, and that means y'all carry or y'all are carrying, and the direct object is aquam. So number eight says, y'all are carrying water. In number nine, natamus is the verb, and that means we swim or we are swimming. Simper is an adverb that means always, and the prepositional phrase here, prope insulam, says near the island. So number nine will say, we always swim near the island. In number 10, we have the word said, dividing our sentence into two independent clauses. The first one, nauta non est, says he is not a sailor. And the second one, skafas amat, says he loves boats. So number 10 as a whole will read like this. He is not a sailor, but he loves boats.